Hey guys, so I'm in the process of starting up my own server using NFO, and this is the first time I've ever done this. And you see here, this is just a uh, file editor so I can upload mods and the missions and the settings dot or server that config file to the actual server. Left is the files on my computer and the right is the files on the server. And notice, I'm not sure how recently uh, Steam has done this with Arma 3, but you'll notice none of the mods that I have subscribed to, which I have a lot of subscribed mods, are actually here. Like they're not in this as, they're not in the Steam apps common Arma 3 as at mod folders. Um, and that's because you'll notice, I, I can show you exactly where they are here. We've got Steam apps, go to workshop, content, and you see, actually no, this is the wrong folder, it'd be this one. Steam apps common, not common, Steam apps workshop, content. And you'll see a, this folder of numbers, and these numbers indicate a game. I just know Arma is this one here. And each one of these is a mod. <laughs> they are just folders with numbers in them. And trying to add things to the server, you need that at folder. For instance, you click here, you see that's action bot, action button mod. You click here. This, I believe, is enhanced movement. Yeah, this is enhanced movement. And so you can't use these. You'd have to go and download them from Armaholic or something like that. But actually, uh, something I just found out is you might not have to. That is, if you open up your mod, uh, the Arma 3, excuse me, launcher, click on any of the mods here, say enhanced movement. You've got displays more options here. If you click that, you can hit copy as local mod. And see, I'm going to choose the desktop and just select folder. And that you see here, we have two of them here. Enhanced movement for Steam Workshop and enhanced movement as the folder. You'll see over here, this is where that folder moved to. I just move it to the desktop. What you can do is you can move it directly to Steam Apps Common Arma 3 there and then you'd be able to simply copy it over. And that is how you solve the issue of Steam, uh, when you subscribe to a mod, changing that just to folders with numbers instead of at, then the mod name. And if anyone's trying to start a server and is scratching their heads over that, this should help you out. Thank you so much for watching and peace out.